you go out on a hike or run with your pup and then they're stung by a wasp or bitten by a snake, what do you do? Well, what do you have to help them? And joining me to answer those questions and make sure you're prepared in case that scenario happens is veterinarian Dr. Courtney Wegard. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thanks. Now, that's a, I mean, that's scary to, to think about and, you know, but, and very important and we will get to it. But first, I want to talk about who you brought in with you today. This is Van Gogh. He's available for adoption at Franklin County Humane. As you can see, oh. the name is because his poor little ear has been cut. Um, and also oh this one gosh. is damaged. So he is a true victim of abuse, unfortunately. Okay. Um, but the Franklin County Humane has been working very diligently with him right. to overcome his fears. And he loves other dogs. He loves children. He actually would prefer a home with, an, with a friend. Okay. Um, he seeks them as companions. So if anybody has a place for a cute little short-legged basset hound leg dog. Um, I, mean, I think he's perfect. Him. He is so precious. Okay, so let's jump back to the situation. What do we kind of do about that situation and, and how can we make sure we're prepared for that? So just like this is my children's first aid kit that I stole so I could show how you could do this at home. Just basic materials, some of the things that you would even find in your own first aid kit. Okay. Bandage materials, bandage tape, um, even uh, gauze, wet spray, antiseptic spray, some of the things that you could use on humans, you can actually use on your dog as well. Okay. Um, but if you want to amp it up, uh, yeah. make it specific for dog, some of the neat things that you could do is talk to your veterinarian, get a tick puller. So if you're in the woods, oh, you're hiking, yes. oops, I found a tick on the ear. This is a great thing to have in your arsenal. Because we before, you shouldn't be grabbing them. them off. And, yeah, Correct. Okay. This is a great way to get, make sure you get that whole tick. Okay. We've even got flea comb, um, tweezers, bandage, uh, bandage scissors. Okay. And you just never know. You might want to give your dog water if they're overheating. A collapsible oh, bowl is a yes. good idea to have. Um, <coughs> and even a digital thermometer. So something that you can have in your arsenal if you think your dog's overheating. Right. It's a quick way to check. Okay. So um, we can we can kind of make this ourselves, but do they make some that are already made that are specifically for animals? They do. So most good um, pet website resources will have pre-made kits. Okay. If you want to be savvy and make one for your own, if you have an animal that you already know has an allergy to bee stings and you yeah. can talk to your veterinarian about how you can prepare for that, yeah. um, then you can custom make your own. But certainly you can go online and find a good one. Yeah, well, when it comes to you know um, allergies, are there emergency like medications that we should have on hand? Yeah, so one thing that you probably already have in your medicine cabinet is Benadryl. Yeah. So you not believe the phone calls and texts that I get from friends about my dog's been stung by a bee. Um, having Benadryl in your arsenal already could be life-saving for your pet yeah. and really save them a lot of trauma. So talk to your veterinarian about the dose that's appropriate for your size dog. Okay. Um, it's very different than the human dosage for Benadryl. So dogs is a little bit different, um, cats as well. So ask your veterinarian for your size pet what the dose would be. I mean, really, you can just carry all of this with you. So you're actually going to... Give, are you giving this one away? So probably not this box, but okay. I'm, we are at Vinton Vet this Hospital. This one's your kids, right? This is, yeah, this is my They'll be really mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> so we will put together at Vinton Vet Hospital our okay. own little first aid kit, okay. and we'll give it away to a viewer. So we've got um, poop bags, <laughs> disposable bags. Hey, you need them. Uh, yeah, so we, we will get it souped up. It's probably worth about $100, okay. the kit that we're putting together. Wow. Go to Daytime Blue Ridge's link to this segment. Go to Vinton Vet Hospital's Facebook page, uh, make a comment or like the segment and we will uh, compile them and draw them and, and give it away. Ooh, how exciting. Thank you so much for coming on. And if you want to find them, you can go to their website, vitinvet.com, which we'll have on our website if you go over to daytimebluridge.com.